What's going on guys, I'm Icy Rhythms. Welcome back to another video. And in this one, we're talking Sony, we're talking PlayStation, PS4, PS5, the games, and the like. Someone, anyone can feel free to correct me if I'm wrong about some of this stuff, but Sony has recently confirmed that the PlayStation 4 version of Spider-Man from 2018 will not receive a free upgrade. No free enhancements, whether you own the game digitally or physically. Now, again, correct me if I'm wrong about these things. I feel like I've done enough research, and now that Sony themselves have opened their mouth, correct me if I'm wrong, the only way you can get the PlayStation 5 remastered version of Spider-Man 2018 is to buy the $70 version of Spider-Man Miles Morales. Now, wait a minute. I understand, you know, you really want to sell your platform. You really want to have a big launch. You want PlayStation to stay extremely relevant and possibly become even more relevant if that's even possible for PlayStation at this point. So you have a Spider-Man game at launch. I, I, I can't disagree with that. I completely understand. And part of me would maybe somewhat understand the PlayStation 5 remastered version if you didn't already own a PlayStation 4 version of the game. Now, I guess it would be complete entitlement if I said all PlayStation 4 owners of Spider-Man 2018 should get this update absolutely free. I, I mean, I feel like there should be an option of some kind there. Maybe, you know, even just 10 or 15 bucks to upgrade your current physical or digital version of the game. Me personally, I'm just having a little trouble understanding what this is all about and hear me out. Back in March, or I think it was April, Sony confirmed that current PlayStation 4 owners of some of these games would get enhancements. Now, this would be limited to, give or take, the top 100 games on PlayStation 4. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, which I'm very certain that I'm not, at least in this case, but Spider-Man 2018 is definitely one of the top 100 games. It's gotta be like in the top 30, 40 selling best PlayStation games. You know, it's probably behind all of the Call of Duty games and maybe one or two of the Assassin's Creed games and Grand Theft Auto and Red Dead Redemption, things like that. But it is definitely in there somewhere. Definitely a, a top 20, top 30 best selling game. So why again, and maybe I just misunderstood, why are current owners of Spider-Man 2018 having to pay anything? I mean, really, some of this stuff would just be a flip of a switch to make the frame rate better, or, you know, to in, instead of having, you know, fake 4K, you can get a native 4K image. Things like that, I, I just can't see that taking a lot of work, a lot of effort, but everything else, you know, it seems like They've added a lot more NPCs, a lot more civilians in the world, um, improved and taken advantage of the SSD in the PlayStation 5. It's, you know, stuff like that is cool. You know, better textures, better lighting in some of the areas. And you are getting Spider-Man Miles Morales, which does seem to be a, a pretty solid game if you're super into Spider-Man like that. But I'm curious, it's a little bit less so about Spider-Man for me and more about how many more times are you going to do this? Are you going to try to say that you can't do this for God of War? Are Rockstar and Sony going to team up and say, you know, we're going to charge you another 60 or $70 for a remastered Red Dead Redemption 2? We know that they're doing something with Grand Theft Auto 5. I can't remember if they already said that those upgrades and enhancements would be free. Someone can Feel free to mention that in the comments section if you know for sure if GTA 5 enhancements are going to be free for current PlayStation 4 owners. But back in March or April, saying that, you know, a lot of these current games, if you had them, would be enhanced on the PlayStation 5 at launch just uh, doesn't really add up for me with this Spider-Man thing. And it makes me feel like if this is really successful, you know, what are they going to do when... God of War 2 comes out in 2021, 2022, bundle that with God of War 2018 and say that's the only way that you can play it at, you know, 60 to 80 frames and get all the enhancements for the 2018 version. I mean, 
what's happening here? You know, I just, I don't agree with this. I think it's very poor business practices and just not the greatest communication with Sony. But again, I could have misunderstood something and this may be limited to just Spider-Man because they want to really sell a lot of PlayStation 5s at launch. I mean, Spider-Man is a great game to have there at launch for the holidays. You know, well, I mean, I guess to be fair, if you haven't been able to pre-order a PlayStation 5, there's not going to be too many more opportunities in 2020 to get one anyway. So a lot of us that are going to be playing a PlayStation 5 at launch, we're already locked in. I would say a good chunk, maybe half or over half. And I, I know that some GameStops are doing pre-orders either this Friday or next Friday, but they already claimed that those pre-orders wouldn't come until, you know, one to three weeks after the fact. So it's going to be really hard to get a PlayStation 5, I would say, until, you know, January, February, and maybe at the latest March or April. It's going to be increasingly difficult, but you got to have a game there like Spider-Man Miles Morales. And I, I again, I do understand that, but the bundling of the remastered Spider-Man 2018 and making those enhancements exclusive to that version and you can only play it if you buy the new Spider-Man. I just, I don't agree with that. And again, you guys can feel free to correct me in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this. I completely disagree with it. I, I hope that this isn't something that we're gonna see. It's not gonna be like a trend. And you know, if I wanna play Uncharted 4 at you know 1440p, 60 FPS or higher, that they're gonna charge me with you know, the next Naughty Dog game. Hey, you have to buy this next Naughty Dog game to get, you know, free free upgrades or what they claim is free upgrades and enhancements to The Last of Us 2 or, you know, the original Last of Us or Uncharted 4 or whatever the case may be. I just, I don't agree with that. And obviously I don't agree with that because I'm the consumer, so it just makes sense. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Thank you guys for watching. More videos to come. Certainly more reviews. You guys have a good one. Peace.